Dave, how has the construction of our third intake and low lake level pumping station um, changed our outlook for us locally? Well, first of all, I'd say that the project was uh, very, very innovative in its thought, in its design, and certainly in its construction. Um, one of the, the think about going down uh, 600 feet and then three miles underneath Lake Mead out to a submerged intake structure was really an engineering feat and the people who uh, were involved in that project should and are quite proud of uh, being able to deliver that along with the low lake level pumping station um, which again had its own uh, level of innovative approach and uh, the, even the equipment itself uh, had never been um, utilized in this fashion for this kind of volume and delivery and you know as John mentioned really what it does for us is it gives us a very very reliable um, ability to be able to pump water from Lake Mead to our ratepayers and uh, um, I really can't you know emphasize enough just how valuable that that forward thinking and that investment was to be able to shore up our access to the resource that we have and just a, a little backstory on that because we're, we're merging this infrastructure story with the negotiations on the river, right? So when I became general manager in February of 2014, uh, and at that point we were negotiating uh, with Arizona and California uh, about what we called uh, absolute protect a thousand, right? To set up the rules of the roads so that we would operate the, the river system in a way that there was no chance of Mead ever going below a thousand, and that would have protected uh, our, our two upper intakes, right, uh, and kept uh, the two pumping stations functioning. It became very clear in those negotiations that we were not going to get that kind of security at the negotiating table. So uh, we happened to have an ERPAC committee meeting at that time. Uh, so we went to them and said, look, it'll probably cost us $650 million to build the low lake level pumping station. But if we do that, we're going to be secure uh, even in a situation, you know, like Greg painted of not being able to release water downstream uh, to Arizona, California, and, and Mexico. Uh, that Citizens Committee unanimously endorsed that. Uh, our board of directors unanimously endorsed that. They changed our rate so that we would be able to, to pay for it. So, you know, this is you know, eight years ago now that, you know, it wasn't just the staff here at the authority. It was our entire community assessing the risk and saying that's not a risk profile that we're going to accept. So we move forward to, again, secure uh, our community and make sure we can take care of ourselves.